Hey, 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 it's Chrissy Lulu. So, today, you may recognize this sketch. It's one I did forever ago. I redug them up recently and was finally brave enough to dig out my watercolors. I have this fancy water brush and I'd experimented with these earlier that day in class. And I think I do enjoy using watercolors. Um, I've got to get used to them and everything, of course. Um, it's been a tricky medium for me. I'm using a pan that I got from Michael's. And the first time I attempted to use this pan, it went horribly. Um, I can maybe show my um, failed piece in the future. I gave up on it very quickly. Um, I have kind of learned how to use the, this pan, specifically from experimenting and learning. You gotta, you gotta use lots of water with your watercolors so they don't beat, they're not too opaque and stuff. You gotta water it down and then build up that color. Just something I did not exactly realize at first, and by first time using them, I just have just pasted on, and it's just it looks horrible. It totally ruined the whole picture, and I was pretty happy with it at the time. I'm definitely not happy with it anymore, but yeah. Um, if anybody is scared to try watercolors, I would recommend trying them out. Um, do a couple pieces like I did, pieces that maybe aren't super personal and are just kind of sketches that you kind of refine, or even just doing, taking sketches in your sketchbook and trying to put some wash, washes on them. Something that would definitely help you quite a lot is um, experimenting with ink washes. I used ink washes quite a lot and experimented with those. I have actually two different um, jars with ink wash in them. Um, they're two different opacities. One's a bit darker, the other's a bit lighter. Um, I try and use them every once in a while, but yeah, it's interesting to use watercolors. Um, I hope to experiment with them more. I have Quite a lot of watercolors. I want to do more art supply Sundays based on them, um, so I'll go more into depth once I kind of experiment with them more and finish up these watercolor sketches that I never finished and I posted forever ago. Um, I really enjoy how this one came out though. It honestly does not take that long to do a piece of watercolors with Copics and stuff. You just you can lay it all out, or it's just, it takes forever to do all that layering. And then with watercolors, it's like, you do it all, and then you're like, is that it? That's kind of my first impression on it, um, at least with this piece. I mean, you can always go back in and do more, I think, with watercolors and stuff, going back in and doing more details and refining in watercolors, it's better to go in like a pencil and deep in those shades and stuff or like a colored pencil um but yeah i hope to try i have watercolor markers tried them for mermaid and they did not work very well um i actually have tubes of watercolor that i want to try out i have tubes of acrylic that i want to try too um i have actually a canvas board from my sister that I hope to use something with. Um, pretty much the only times I've ever used acrylic is when I'm painting stuff for school or just doing little crafty projects. I've used the acrylic in the, my mom keeps in the basement and it's old and cheap. It's like the apple barrel stuff that they have all in one aisle and you see more. And they do work quite, oh, okay. <laughs> Um, but we've got lots of colors, so there's lots of options. That's just always been available for me. Um, I've also done, um, 
let's see. I guess four. I've done four different pieces from paint and sips, separate paint and sips that I went to. Um, two of them were, I'd say, professional paint and sips. The other two. Is it two? Second. Yeah, so there's four. The other two were um, held by the halls I was living in. So it was um, paint and quote unquote sip where they had, I think, group juice or something, because it's, it's a college hall, they can't serve alcohol. And anyways, I wasn't even of age, so... Um, but I hope maybe I can do some more paint and sips in the future, because I had a lot of fun with them. And I hope I can maybe show these paintings that I did off. Um, I don't know how much I like them all, but um, they turned out alright. Um, I had a lot of fun using paints. And I hope to try and use them more, but of course I'm kind of pretty timid with just setting all that up. That's the main issue I have with a lot of art supplies, is the setup. It's not so much the doing of it, it's the whole setup. You gotta get the water, you gotta get your palette, you gotta get your brushes, you gotta clean them all. And with like pens and colored pencils and markers, it's just so easy. Just take them out, you use them, you put them away. It's just simple and there's not much prep and there's not much cleanup. Which is something that I really think is a benefit of these supplies and I almost feel like I don't want to take out the supplies just for one piece because I know a lot of the times I have sessions with pieces. Um, instead of like, I, I try it's kind of changed over time. Um, recently, it's been more I'm trying to sketch then ink then color all in one session and finish the piece. But there have been times in the past where I sketch, I let it sit, and then I ink, and then let it sit, and then I finish it up. So it's kind of different sessions of it, and I don't want to... I don't normally go from, I finished this one piece, now I'm going to do another one. I mean, I did do that just the other day, but it's got to be kind of like the right mood. And I almost don't feel like doing all that setup just for one little thing. Um, with the water brush, though, it definitely makes it a lot easier um, clean up and everything. Just And having the pan, you just pull out the pan, you just pull out the water brush, and it makes it easy. So that's kind of one thing. That I really enjoy about the water brush I got and I hope to use it more and I'm actually very glad that I did end up buying this. Um, I hope to also do a video on brushes for Art Supply Sundays in the future. I've been really bad about doing those though recently. I apologize. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed coloring this one in. It's, it was very therapeutic. Um, and I had fun choosing the colors, just the super pastel, calm kind of feeling that I got from this is really kind of exactly what I wanted. So it's very nice. Kind of, I wanted to show kind of like, I don't know, beauty and death, I guess. It's a balance of life and death. Um, uh, I'm actually a bioanthropology student, so I do take a lot of classes that deal with, um, dead people so I do have to deal with and listen and learn about people dying and stuff a lot and it's not something that I find disinteresting though I find it very um appealing in a way it's kind of I don't know it's fascinating I guess is the word I'm looking for but yeah um Um, yeah, I actually took a forensic class this semester, past semester, and that was really interesting. We got to learn all about bones and everything. So, that was also, like, something that made me really love doing this piece. I ended up actually doing a piece in my ceramics class focused just on spines, and it was so much fun. It took forever, which just killed me, but I had a lot of fun focusing on that. But, yeah, anyways... 
put my morbidity aside. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like it. If you liked it, and subscribe if you want to see more. I have a whole ton more videos waiting for you to watch. Um, in the meantime, of course, um, I upload Wednesdays and Saturdays, doing my best to. Of course, I've mentioned many times throughout this video that I'm doing um, Earth Supply Sundays. Oh, yeah, and this is the pan I'm using. I just put water in the top to water it down and everything. But yeah, hit that bell if you want to be notified. Yeah. Bye-bye!